Don't be afraid to embrace the new you. Hello and good morning world back at you with another video. Today is Saturday. I believe it is July the 25th. So we'll just stick with July the 25th. If not, who's really keeping track? So I am again back at you with another video. Um, I'm not really sure what the message is for today, but it will come to me as I, you know, continue to speak. So um, you see the smoke, you know, have to get the vibes going. So that's the incense actually. And it, it smells really nice. So um, the message for today, I have it. Do not lose yourself, okay? So in life, we have a tendency to cater to everything and everyone but ourselves. We all do it. Um, we all, some of us, most of us do it unintentionally. You know, it's not that we do not, um, I guess, care about ourselves or love ourselves per se, but I think we grow up in a culture, in a society where we are raised to cater to other people and to put our needs and our wants and desires to the side and to cater to everything and everyone else like um i know i was raised like that i know a lot of people in my surroundings and within my environment were raised like that it's just the way that we're taught you know and we are creatures of habit so therefore we have a tendency to put the needs of everyone else above our own and then if we have anything left then we'll deal with ourselves and nine times out of ten we do not even have anything left so my my message and in, in which it is a lesson that i am learning because i'm actually just becoming aware that i've i've been self-sabotaging my way in this manner because i have not been valuing myself my needs, my wants, and my desires. I haven't even really, um, up until now, up until recently, figured out really who I am and what I desire in life. You know, it was always other people, places, and things. And there's not one particular area that, um, you know, has a heavier impact or more impact than another. You know, it's, it's really across the board. So, um, I think what I am what I'm really saying is sometimes you have to take a step back especially if you are in a partnership with someone and just people in relationships period it does not have to just be romantic it could be a relationship with your parents you know you may want to do something to please your parents but it may not feel good to you within or you may be chasing your parents dreams to the point where you don't even have the energy to invest in your own dreams. Excuse me, a common example of this, what I see, what I've heard, what I have seen is um, the child that goes to uh, medical school, you know, their parents want them to be a doctor. So they go to medical school, they become a doctor. You know, they clearly have an artistic gift where Maybe they like their drawings are just beautiful. Maybe they paint, you know, maybe they compose music and it's just, it just makes the angels sing, you know, but because they put the needs and the desires of their parents over their own, they will pursue that, that, um, that doctor dream of their parents and, and put their dreams to the side because their parents told them you can't make a living off of being an artist when that's not even true like i know of not personally well maybe so but artists like creative artists like they make money not only do they make money they are happy and it's it's more important to be happy than to make money because money does not even buy happiness but that's another video um, this this video is pretty much to say we have to start looking into ourselves and in a sense cut the world off 
and go within and say, hey, what makes me happy? What makes me smile? Let me do more of that. Because when I do more of that, then I am fulfilled within myself. One, I do not have to rely on another one to make me happy. And two, I can wholeheartedly give to others from a place of being being whole as opposed to a place of just wanting your love and, and your attention that I'm going to do this just to get your love and attention. You know, it's, it's really a thing where we have to go within, figure out who we are and what we want and go towards that. Because otherwise, I mean, we, we're, we're wasting precious time, energy, and life is too, life is too precious, life is too beautiful to just, um, to not really take advantage of it and live a life full of abundance. Because I believe that we come here to live a life to be abundant, you know? At least that's me, like that's, I came here to, to, to be abundant, to have a, an abundant life, you know? And it doesn't even have to be from a monetary standpoint. Like I, I just came here to, I believe, my personal opinion, I came here to be happy and to share that happiness with others. So do not lose yourself. And if you have lost yourself, it is never too late to find yourself and do what you want to do, do what you've always wanted to do. Um, the, the message yesterday was to chase your dreams. It is never too late to chase your dreams. You are never too old to say, hey, let me take a detour because this path that I've been on, it really was not true or authentic to me and what I desire in my life. It's okay. You know, we cannot look at it as we wasted time. No, we made amazing, we created amazing memories that will be with us forever. And we learned a lot of lessons, you know. For me, um, I look at it as better late than never. And it's never too late. So if you've been thinking about something, um, I actually had a conversation with someone not too long ago. And they were just like, um, you know, I really wish I could just bake somewhere. I really like to bake and I just wish I could just bake for a living. And then they said, but you know, I'm in the rat race. So, you know, I, I have all these material things that I have to keep up. So this is what it is, you know? And, and it, it kind of crushed my heart because I too was there. And, and not to say that, um, not to say that I cannot or I will not revisit that place, but to really say that I stepped away from what I thought was it for me. You know, I have a desire to travel, to see this whole world. Like I look at it as there is a whole world out here and that world is here for me, like for me to experience. So yes, I, I had a lot of responsibilities, you know, that I signed up for. Yes, I was making um, a lot of money, money that I never thought I, I could and would make. Yes, I had all the material items to show for. Yes, it, it looks really good. I still did not feel happy because happiness is not defined by the externals. Happiness is defined on what you feel and what you are on the inside. So for me, it was, it was very scary to you know quit my job and step away from everything that I that I had known and was comfortable with and that I was taught was the way to go about living life um, it was very scary but it is a chance that I took a risk that I took and I just took a leap of faith to say hey I want to do more of what I desire and that is experiencing these this 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 whole world outside of my comfort zone, learning a new language, new languages, because it will not just be one location for me. You know, I, I planned like, it's a whole world out here. So I'm going to experience it, to learn different languages, different cultures, to try different cuisines. Like I do not want to do that just for a vacation and then come back to my miserable, and it, it, it wasn't miserable, but just come back to the, um, so the the regular nine to five in which I feel unfulfilled in and not downing a nine to five because 
I mean, if you think about it, like I where my next venture, I will have a nine to five. That's what I'm going into. But it's something that's fulfilling to me and that I am passionate about, you know, working with children. I love children. I, I love to work with children and that allows me to tap into my inner child. So what I am saying is we cannot get stuck in the hats that we wear and the roles that we choose to play in our lives. Like we have to hold ourselves accountable. We cannot say that anybody forced me to do X, Y, and Z. Life does not work like that. Um, we have to hold ourselves accountable to making these decisions. So you do not have to stay stuck in that pattern. You have the, um, the ability and the power to say, wait, I don't think this is really for me. Let me look into this and let me try this. And it's okay, like it's okay. And when you look down the line, you know, after you've made those really hard and, and difficult decisions, you will probably look back and say, why did I wait so long to do what my heart desires? Because I believe that, that that's what we come here to do, live our heart's truest desires. And um, it doesn't mean that you do not love people, places, and things because there are people, places, and things that I will always have love within me for. You know, it's just really about me. This next phase of my life is about me. And I encourage you to feel empowered to do the same. You do not have to make drastic changes like, like I did, like I am. I am an Aries, so we're in a, a Leo rising, so I'm pretty, I can be pretty intense and dramatic and all that stuff. You know, you do not have to do that, but I challenge you to figure out what your heart desires and work more towards it. Um, another quick example, this video is getting a little lengthy, but another um, quick example, like for me, I love to sing. So I'm on the karaoke app like every day on my phone, like singing with people across the world, you know, and it, like, it's fun. Like it makes my heart sing literally <laughs> i'm singing and my heart is singing so i mean i just really encourage you to figure out what you like to do what you love to do and do more of it and that is how we can live lives that are fulfilling and true to us so do not do not do not lose yourself figure out who you are and, and what you like and what you desire and work towards that okay guys so that is my message for today i hope you were able to um get, gain something from it and until next time i'll see you later peace